Okay, the next thing I want to do is to um, plot a graph, a linear graph, using a table of values. So, for this example that I've got, I've got an equation which says that y is equal to 2x minus 1. And I've drawn up a table of values. So what I'm going to do is work out what my corresponding y value is for each of these x values across here. So I do that by substituting into this equation. So instead of x, I'm going to put in minus 2. This will become 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. Take away 1 is minus 5. So I write that value in. So the first thing we should do is fill in our table. I put in my next x value. My next x value is minus 1. So I've got 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Take away 1 is minus 3. And I get to keep doing that. 2 times 0 is 0, take away 1 is minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, take away 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4, take away 1 is 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, take away 1 is 5. Now some of you might be able to identify that this is going up 5 the same amount each time. Um, so. That, and we should see that. We should see that it's going up by an even amount. Now what I do is put these points onto my graph. So, um, when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to minus 5. So that's down here somewhere. When x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 3. So put in a point here. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. Put a point in there. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5, which is going to be up here. Now, if I've done that correctly, what I should have is all my points, and you guys should be neater than I am because I'm doing this um, without, without carefully lined um, pages but those points that we put on should make a straight line and that's how we plot a, a line um, from a table of values.